Now, Weather on the Threes, sponsored by Bufalo Contracting. <clears throat> 624 hour time. Welcome back to Lawn Care by Walter. Scott with us this go around and we were just remarking you were watching the, the clock because he's a viewer of the show and you like your weather on the threes. On the threes. And what, you know what? Our segment with you, it's on a weather the on the four. Yeah. So what happens when we miss the weather on the threes? Well then, I don't know other people, but I stand there <laughs> okay, and I have right, to wait. Right. I just, I had to know. So we got to be sure we're good on our times. We got to get these threes down pat. All right, let's have a look at the forecast details. Beautiful start this morning. Rockford sighting in Windows River Cam, sporting that sunshine and also a lot of frost to get going. Temperatures are in the mid and upper 20s across the area. All uphill from here though. Temperatures will start to warm from this point on. In fact, we'll go to the mid 50s. Tonight, dropping down to the mid 30s and then middle 60s tomorrow. Choice day of the week. Looks great for Thursday. Friday, we have worked in some afternoon shower potential. 67, 60 on Saturday. Looks soggy. 52 on Sunday. Yeah, still a bit damp and it's going to feel cold too with that rain coming down. Temperatures in the low 50s. 52 on Monday. Some scattered showers. Mid 50s on Tuesday. Hey, guess what time it is? It's time for First Alert Weather Watchers. Sponsored by Bainey Construction and Restoration. Big thank you to Kathy Shackleton. Look at this view from the Davis, Dakota area. Just beautiful. Hey, make sure you take the picture horizontally. Go to WIFR.com, see it, send it, and upload it to the First Alert Weather Watchers folder, and we can share it right here on the program. Welcome back to Lawn Care by Walter, and this time we want to talk about mosquitoes. And before you know it, we're going to get out of the chill, oh, yeah. and those critters are going to be all over the place. Not just mosquitoes, but ticks. Fleas, Fleas, you name spiders, it. Spiders, And everything. you're able to take care of that for folks, correct? Yes, correct. Our mosquito spray uh, handles up to 75 different insects. Uh, mosquitoes, ticks, and fleas for all the dog 75 lovers. 75 different insects? Uh, 75. So if there's something in the lawn or in your uh, landscaping and stuff, we can take care of it. So you have to give an estimate then. It depends on what? Trees, how large the yard might be, that type of thing? Correct. Trees, uh, how much is in the landscape? Uh, plants in the landscape or if you're wide open how much turf you have okay. um, everything like that. And we were that. talking about sustainability last time so you're also watching out for any type of a flower that might... Anything flowering because uh, we're well aware of the bees and we got to keep the bees going yes. or we're not going to have food or anything else. So if somebody gets an estimate from you and by the way now's the time to get those estimates you definitely want to get on the list how many applications would it take then throughout the course of summer? How does that work? We start uh, May through September. Uh, we require at least a three minimum because that usually can take care of most major holidays, your uh, Memorial Day, Fourth of July, Labor okay. Day. Uh, but we go, we do up to five, sometimes six applications. So they usually last about 30 days. So as we do make our way into the season, do you have a forecast on it? I mean, it seems like the last few summers we've been in pretty good shape. Real good shape. Uh, dry, hot, usually keeps them down. Uh, winters are our good friend when we get the hard frost and, and uh, less snowpack, but colder, usually keeps the bugs and insects down. Outside of you coming and giving your applications, what can we do to help prevent the mosquito issues? That's great to know. Oh, uh, so if you have any sitting around pots, uh, trash can lids, anything that has water sitting in it okay. that gets stagnant, that's a huge thing. Clean out your gutters, having uh, uh, overflowing gutters or stagnant with organic matter in okay. there, they really like to lay anywhere from 50 to 400 And why do mosquitoes eggs. like some people but not others? Well, that's a good question because a lot of people ask that. Type O is their number one choice, but it all comes down to what you smell like, your body odor, your breath, uh, your lotions, um, and uh, actually the color of what clothes you wear. You so want you want to wear light colored clothing? White, greens, light blues, and yellows you want to stay. Anything dark, dark blacks and dark blues, they're going to come to you. And here's another fact. Uh, so all of us, it's uh, fire pit season. So if you're big beer drinkers and stuff, you're 30% more likely to get uh, bit by mosquitoes. Scott Sorry. knows. <laughs> Sorry Long about here by that, Walter. Everybody. We'll send it back to you and our weather on the fours this go around. There you go. Thank goodness it wasn't a five. <laughs> right. They'd have wrapped me up even more than we did that segment. Back to you. Yeah, we're uh, we're not on pace for weather on the three in the next half hour either. At this rate, we'll be right back. <laughs>